Today is uh, July 17th, 2017, and I'm going to do a uh, Hobbit Garden update, the front garden, and I want to wish my sister Mary happy birthday. It's her birthday today, so in case she sees the video, uh, happy birthday. So here we go. Now, today it was uh, up to 94 degrees and uh, a few days ago we did get some uh, rain so what I do is I just transfer water from these two rain barrels and here let's see if I can get this while I'm doing the video I'll, I'll fill up this dipping barrel so I just turn it on and make sure water's coming out. Oh, water's not coming out. Let's see. That's a bad sign. There we are. So we're getting some water to flow. So I'll just leave this. It should take, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So here. You can see the watermelon starting to go up. I've cleaned out some of this uh, seeds. Oh, we got a couple of the watermelons in there. Can you see them? So that's a good sign. Oh, at least three. So what I do is I pour at least two buckets of water on this every night. And uh, it's probably not really enough, but that's what I've been doing. Now I did clean out these onions. Uh, it's been two weeks since I've done a video. I've had a little bit of a health problem and then uh, just not motivated to do it. I guess attitude problem, but really just de-energized. Today it was 94 degrees and look, I've got all kinds of, uh, I haven't picked these for some time, the, the pole beans, so I've got a whole bunch that to, to <laughs> now these are the uh, onion stalks that grew so tall I just I'm gonna let them degrade here in the garden so we still like I say I haven't picked these uh, pole beans for a while so I really need I don't hopefully you can see those I really need to come out and pick them I've had too many beans actually and uh, in my fridge so I have been unmotivated to pick beans since um, of that now let's see now the okra I have been getting okra let's see if we can find any in here wow I did pick it yesterday you can see that little one there let's see if we can find a better example but I have been getting okra the last couple of weeks so that's been kind of nice. Let's go back through here. And the tomatoes, they're starting to come in. So I don't really, looks, you see them? You see that okra there? Right here. Can you see it? It's kind of, oh, and there's, there, actually I do need to come out and pick some. There's at least three of them here that need to get picked. If you don't get, pick them pretty, pretty much on time they grow so fast they become woody so you really need to come and pick okra every day or every other day at least check so these you see it there you see them now I love okra it's uh, I do I really enjoy growing okra they sometimes that'll be one of the best one thing about okra is it doesn't get attacked by bugs. Now, my squash, which I've, I've had plenty of squash, and I've given plenty away, but as you can see, look at that. Squash bugs have attacked these these vines, and if I get any more squash, I, I'm not sure. I might get a couple more. Now, look. Look at this, how this has been eaten up. But these are rutabagas, and what you eat is down here. So I'm not worried, you know, I'll wait a little bit longer and 
I'll pick a few of those. So, uh, if you remember last time I did a video, uh, oh, look, I didn't pick these. You see these seeds? This is uh, mustard seeds. So, well, when you go inside, though, there's a very small seed. And these are ready, ready to get, you see them? Mustard seeds. I don't know if you can see them there. But anyway, so we've got the mustard seeds that need to get collected. Now I've got already, I've already collected a whole bunch. And uh, look, see my apple tree now? Last week this apple tree had bees all over the place right here. Look at that. You see the white? I'm not sure. That's wax. Yeah, it is wax. So the bees, for some reason, were right here uh, two weeks ago, and then a week later they had moved on. So I don't have to worry about uh, getting the bees a place to live. Uh, they, it was raining so much during that time period, but that was that was an interesting uh, week to have all those bees in my garden. I, I was kind of walking gently. So look, now I do have a little peach tree uh, that I've allowed to grow here. So we'll see. I'll have to move. You see it there? Uh, it's been growing into my tomato cage, which, and look, that's a nice big tomato. I have been getting Yesterday I gave away a whole bunch of tomatoes, and I've got, you know, a gal maybe a gallon and a half, two gallons of tomatoes in, in the house. So I've got a lot of tomatoes. I, I may can some later on. We'll see. But right now I'm just trying to eat them and give them away. So, now this used to be peas. Now, um, my cucumber vines have been attacked by the squash bugs. And so I make plant cucumbers here for the fall. I'll clean this up. You can see the weeds. I haven't really done much in the garden. And look, look at this. This is dill seeds. I need to come and collect all these dill seeds. So, man, I've got onion seeds like crazy. And look, over here, I've let my uh, leeks go to seed. Look, see how big that bush thing is? And... Um, it smells strong. Do I have seeds in there yet? Well, I got one seed. But it looks like that's still early on picking the leek seeds. So I'll let that let go a little bit longer. And you can see the, uh, this is a Jerusalem artichoke here. So that's quite a quite a thing. You're supposed to, I guess, eat the roots. I have not actually eaten the roots before, but I have some growing, and they're supposed to kind of spread out and take over, which they are spreading out, but I'll dig some of those up. So, here, let me show you. You can see the weeds. I These are actually empty pots, but I have let the reeds, weeds grow up in there, and some flowers. I like the marigolds. Now, I've allowed those marigolds, I've encouraged them to grow. So I still got a lot of lettuce and basil. I've, and that chocolate mint I love. So look, I've got a whole container. Uh, but I, I need to get out here. But this is all seeds. I've got some of them broken loose. But it's quite a job. So I've got so many mustard seeds to collect. So anyway, here, let's finish up this video. It may be going long. My uh, oregano, I still use some of that. Now if I can tomatoes, I'll use that oregano. Now I knew I need to do a video on potato reveals. These potatoes are ready. I just, I got so much food in the house, I haven't really uh, wanted to do a potato reveal, but I need to. And I've shown you those tomatoes. That's a beautiful one. And 
Now these uh, watermelon vines, I think they're, some of them have been killed, but I do have a couple of watermelon. Can you see that one hanging? So this hasn't done as well as I was hoping. I was hoping this whole A-frame would be covered with the vines by now, but anyway, that's life. Sometimes you get disappointed. And this mustard out here is a different, this is a hot mustard seed. And uh, huh, I'm going to have tons of hot mustard seed also. And look at the flowers. You can see the sun is still bright enough. I was trying to do it as the sun was lower down. You can see the morning, I think these are morning glories, but you can see how they're closed. They open up in the cool of the day. But the marigolds and these other flowers are just beautiful. And uh, Nope, nothing in there. I, I already got it. And you can see the uh, sunflower is getting fairly tall. I was over at a friend's house today, and they had some sunflowers uh, up to 10 feet, maybe 12 feet tall. They were really tall. These seem to be maybe 7 feet. I mean, that one there is about 7 feet. I have some in the garden. I mean, the uh, Jerusalem artichoke is uh, 8 feet at least. So, my neighbors can... Now, you can see... I don't know if I got any of these cantaloupe. I'm wondering if I'm going to get cantaloupe. Oh, I got one showing. So we'll see if they survive. I'm, I'm concerned because of the uh, squash bugs. And uh, here, turn back around. I have actually got these couple okra here have produced more okra per bush than my b bigger okra bushes. Look, you see that? This one has, you see them? I don't have a that one really needs to be picked. These other ones, I need to wait a day at least. Get them a little bit bigger. Oh, in here, this one. So these two bushes are, how many? Three or four little bushes are producing like crazy, even though they're real short. I don't, that seems to be the, uh, the update for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's... I know I uh, skipped a week, maybe a week and a half in there. It's been, uh, I guess, two and a half weeks since I did an update. So this is the progress. Oh, um, I didn't talk about the corn. Here, I'll show you a picture of the corn, but here. Can you see that? That corn, that corn is looking awesome. You can see how it's starting to turn. Some of them are turning brown. The uh, fuzz at the top, that means, uh, that means that the corn is getting ready to, you can look to see if it's full yet. But anyway, I'm, I'm expecting nice corn today, and, but I do have some sweet neighbors. And I actually had some of my, uh, there was a, a neighbor with three kids, and they moved downtown. And so I'm sad about that because uh, the three, three young ladies, and they were, they were always fun. They always liked to eat my tomatoes. So now I'll need to find someone else to eat those tomatoes because uh, I've got too many tomatoes. But anyway, it's always fun. It's always fun when you have, you know, when you have people that enjoy something uh, and like it. That's always a fun thing to have. Okay, I love you guys. I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye now. Well, I did forget about the uh, water. Here, I un... Looks like I'm losing a little bit of my rainwater. Anyway. I ju it's just now overflowing, I think.